So, hi everyone. In this video, we're going to start on our discussion on log linearization techniques in a real business cycle model. So, why would you want to log linearize? Well, essentially, if you have a system of uh, behavioral equations, uh, majority of the way that be those behavioral equations uh, behave are, or how, how they're formulated rather, uh, they're formulated in such a way that probably they're nonlinear in nature. And computationally, that's quite difficult to solve. So one alternative for us is to linearize them. And essentially what we do in log linearization is we convert nonlinear equations into something linear using log deviations of variables from their steady state. So uh, how does that go? So let's consider a variable. Say we have a variable z, t, okay? And we define, okay, we define, uh, define z, t, tilde, okay, as equal to ln z, t, minus the steady state value of zt, which is ln z bar. And notice that till the accented value okay, is the log difference of the original variable from its steady state value. So it's a difference between its original value, this one, and its steady state value. So uh, by rules of log, this is the same as saying uh, ln, uh, so zt tilde is equal to zt over z bar okay so we can get that conclusion then furthermore what we can do is we can uh say we want to take out the ln so take out the ln so we can get e raised to zt tilde is equal to zt over z bar okay further um say we want to isolate out um the, the, a value for zt in particular then we can determine a value for zt as uh, zt is equal to z bar e zt tilde. So uh, that's one way to do the log approximations, uh, I'm sorry, the log linearizations rather. And this form here, let's call this one, okay, you can, uh, you can use the other following log linearizations and the following approximations following uh, Ulig's 1999 method. So using this, we can, uh, we can further say that E raised to ZT tilde is approximately equal to one plus ZT tilde, okay? Then um, just applying rules, right? So this also holds, say we have ZT tilde plus say another variable a y tilde, y t tilde. This is approximately equal to one plus z t tilde plus uh, a y t tilde. Then we also have, okay, if we're taking the expected value, okay, so take the expected value of a e, okay, uh, z t plus one. So say this is in the future, right? Okay, this is just the this is just the same as uh by just applying properties of expected value that's just a so we take out the constant we factor it out one plus expected value t okay z t tilde okay so we'll remember these three forms as we start to derive the log linearized equations in an rbc model. 